Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be a Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon, and Taurus Rising monthly tarot reading for September 2019. And bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards, and we can jump straight, uh, straight into it. Right, so the first card which stands for the topic of your month, or this is the general theme of your month, this is going to be the Ace of Cups, followed by the next one which stands for the peripheral activities that you can go for, completely optional thing, we have the Nine of Cups, afterwards it is the challenge that you need to overcome here, that is going to be the Knight of Pentacles, then what we do have, it is the... Um, positive aspect of the month, something that helps you in, that is going to be the Tree of Swords. And then the last one uh, is going to be the Six of Cups, which stands for the guidance the Tarot is offering to you. Well, uh, it does look like of a um, of departure to me, you know, departing ways with, uh, with a specific individual here. At least this is what it looks like to me. Not something that you are going to grieve about, okay? As a matter of fact, that individual just holds you down, holds you back, and now it's time for you to part ways with them because you are walking out of dependency. It is just as simple as that. So, uh, before we run into, before we go into that and scrutinize the reading, Let's run the cards one more time. Well, one more time. So we do have the Ace of Cups, which stands for the topic. Afterwards, it is the uh, Nine of Cups, which represents the <clears throat> peripheral activities. Afterwards, it is the Knight, the Knight of Pentacles, which stands for the challenge. Then it is the Tree of Swords, which represents the positive aspect. And then the last one is going to be the Six of Cups, which is the Guidance. All right, so Ace of Cups. Well, Ace of Cups is a very, very positive card, guys, especially if it comes to a topic. It does point at many problems that you are worrying you in the month of August are going to be resolved into the month of August. Uh, September, not and not well. Resolved is not the correct word that I should you uh, that I should use. It's more like they're gonna lose relevance. It, it's like you will no longer have to deal with this with with that bullshit anymore. Why? Well, it is because for one, you are to walk out of dependency, just like I said. And for second, it is a <clears throat> a new. Um, it's not like a new endeavor, but let's say it's not even a new beginning, but let's say a new goal or a new fulcrum appears to you, which uh, makes you completely independent from those strings that you do have in the past, the strings that you do have with the Knights of Pentacles. <clears throat> the Ace of Cups could also represent love. We all know that, you know, but the Ace of Cups is that pure love for life. Okay, love for life, love 
for um, having the drinks with your friends, love for just watching a nice movie at the evening, love to spend time with your beloved one, love to go at work and all those kind of stuff. So the whole month for you is going to be double with love and everything is going to simply look the same uh, when you look at through through this overflowing joy that or that it is taking place in your heart and is going to transcend as well your daily reality the accompanied card is going to be the six of wands here formation is your passive enemies so you're going to uh this this month itself is as well is not going to ask much from you either i mean you're going to be pretty humbled and uh, as well in peace with, with with what the situation really is okay my point is that the ambition is not going to ruin your pleasant experience you will know that sooner or later things are going to be achieved i mean things are going to be conquered okay but right now in the month of september it's time for you to make the most out of this uh, these really exhilarating energies that are coming in your way so <clears throat> i would say <clears throat> excuse me i would say it here if you have to push something you know leave it aside because if you have to push it it's likely to be a shit you know so uh, it's not worth it. Go for just only the easy stuff, things that are developing in um, in a natural way, and the rest just leave it for for another time, for another day when when you don't have anything else to work on, and you can devote all of your um, all of your uh, means and time and efforts as well into it. So <clears throat> the peripheral activities that you can go for, it is exactly what I said before, you know, have, uh, enjoy your time. It is as simple as that here with the nine of cups, you know, enjoy the time with your uh, beloved one, with your work, you know, as uh, assignments, with your friends and etc, etc. <clears throat> But uh, as a peripheral activities, you need to also do uh, something to consolidate on it, all right? Like, a, uh, let's say that you uh, start a friendship, okay? So as a peripheral activity, you need to do whatever you, you have to in order to secure that friendship, all right? Like, aim to spend time together, listen to, to what this person has to say, you know, um, <clears throat> call them for a drink and etc etc basically here the peripheral activities points that whatever is insubstantial but it gives you pleasure you need to do it okay you, you you need to take you you need to make use of it the accompanied card is going to be the wheel of fortune the formation it is a uh, <clears throat> passive enemies and that, that's beautiful i mean you don't even have to push yourself for it i mean these kind of good things are just not going, going to find you instead of you trying to create them and you only need to the only thing that you gotta do is just say yes all right i just I just want to do it and um go and do it because with this uh, with this combination, it means that you don't have to rely on any luck or fortune or um, how, how do I say it? You don't have to uh, rely on the things are going to magically happen on um, with a miracle. You know, they are already around you and now they are to uncover themselves uh, in front of you. Now, the next one, it is going to be the Knight of Pentacles, which is the challenge. Now, that is a person who very well knows what that person wants. Now, as a challenge, unfortunately, what you want is not what that person wants. And uh, up until this moment, they had you with some sort of a uh, string stipulations or just made you feel either pity for them you know or obliged to do something maybe you had to return them a certain favor and etc etc but now you are out of dependency so the, the the challenge here is just to say to that person that you are no longer going to be uh, part of what they are trying to push through it is just as simple as that additionally to that the knight of pentacles here points that uh, that is a, a bit well, that is a bit abstract, you know, but as the Knight of Pentacles sometimes may represent taking rest in the nature, you know, you may have it, you may find it challenging, you know, to recharge yourself when you spend time among nature for, for some reason, you know, maybe there is something in the sky that prevents you from that. The accompanied card here is going to be the Ace of Pentacles and the formation. It is a, a passive supporters. So yeah, definitely that person has its own agenda, has its own fulcrum. You had, you were 
or you are right now a part of it, but you can be part of it no longer. It is entirely up to you to say no. It is entirely up to you to um, to departure from them. You need to know that you, whatever that person have you with, they will no longer have you with the same thing. And for that reason, you can just simply say no. We are just going to part ways. Uh, proceeding with them, uh, it's, it will do you no harm either. It is just, you know, the, the whole month is going to be very how do I place it? Cramped, all right? Cramped in the sense of that you may not be able to enjoy yourself. And that is the whole point of the month, to enjoy yourself, to enjoy the good time, you know, to enjoy the love that comes into your way from every single direction and etc, etc. Because otherwise with this person, you're always going to be busy. You always have to uh, fulfill certain demands um, or, or certain criteria, and etc, etc, which will uh, exert no pleasure whatsoever in to your life. Now, the um, positive aspect here, it is the tree of swords. And with this card, it is where you realize the truth. So at the end of the day, it all comes to how you feel, right? And, and it all comes to that, how, how you spend your time. Because the tree of swords does represent the, the, the reality, the truth in, in one situation. And although it may be difficult for you to say no, all right, although maybe uh, you may feel kind of like, um, how do you say it, despondent, I would say that you will have to leave this one alone, all right, and you are also going to understand that if you don't do it, that it is either his happiness or your happiness. And at the end of the day, it has to be your happiness. That is the thing. And this is going to give you strength to, to say no. And also, uh, with the tree of first uh, swords on a positive position, it also means that you're not going to dwell on it, all right? You're going to say no. You maybe feel bad for a couple of days, but then afterwards, uh, you will have there will be no remnants of that negative emotions uh, within you. The accompanied card here is going to be the devil, the formation. It's the active enemies that we do have. So with the uh, <clears throat> with well with the devil card, it just amplifies here the um, the tree of swords that it uh, it's the recognition of it. It wasn't worth it. All right, it wasn't worth it to sacrifice your 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 well being and uh, and your as well your own time and efforts for the agenda and the um, the goal of someone else, unknowing what you are going to have as benefits afterwards right so yeah with the devil card in tree of swords it's more like resisting the taunt resisting the temptation because you know this person king of pentacles may kind of like try to get you with really you're gonna do this to me you know we started together and now you're abandoning me and that is taunting in in my um in my book so you will have the strength to to resist the taunt to resist the temptation as well and move along uh, striving toward experiencing a, a very emotionally satisfying times. Now, the last one is going to be the guidance here, and the guidance pretty much covers up the peripheral activity, Six of Cups. So, uh, with the Six of Cups, uh, one needs to be happy from the small things in life, all right? One needs, one needs to do exactly what one wants. Uh, one needs to do something that gives him pleasure and that makes him feel creative and that makes him feel uh, at its own place and etc, etc. That comes with career, that comes with relationships, meaning that should you start dating with people, you don't have to date with someone that you find inappropriate, all right? Because there are many people who are doing it. I mean, there are people who are dating other people just for the reason of dating other people. I know certain person who is ready to be with anybody, just not to to be alone and you don't have to do that all right because you can't find happiness in many many different gazes same thing goes at work just because one project is promising but you hate doing it you don't have to do it all right you can do different kind of project especially if you are in the private field the accompanied card here is going to be the temperance wow that is very good i mean this is something that i would love to see into my um uh, in my reading here with Scorpio. This card says uh, that, um, uh, well, it was on my tip of, of my brain here. Uh, you don't owe anyone. You don't owe nothing to anyone. And for that reason, you are free to do whatever you like. And you have to do whatever you like. Because at the end of the day, 
what matters is how happy we are and uh, going for pleasing somebody else it doesn't make us happy at all does it so yeah that being said Taurus this was your week uh, monthly excuse me tarot reading September 2019 I hope you enjoyed it and you like